hello world welcome back to my channel it's a girl c of cycling Koshi. guys you are going to need these tools for this project and the yarn is very thin okay so you need a thin yarn and you measure your tie okay so from your left tie to um the side of your tie okay just one of your tie you measure it then the, the card that you need will be according to the length of your tie okay so let's say this is your tie so you measure from your left tie to the, the right side of your left tie to the left side of your left tie <laughs> i hope you get this so you make your yarn ready so you chain or you can chain and put it around your tie to get your length that you want okay so you chain according to or you chain based on the card okay of your mesh the card that you use so when you get to the end you just um stitch the ends together then the next of all you make single crochet in each of the stitch holes okay so you are going to make single crochet for the first row and single crochet for the second row okay so you chain and you put around your waist sorry you put around your tie okay so the length of this will determine the um measurement of your tie that's round about round okay so the next of all you make um single crochets of three then you add additional single crochet of three making six single crochet so you put your stitch marker here then you put your next stitch marker here so you see that you have six single crochet on this side then we are going to repeat the same six here so you indicate with your stitch markers okay looking at the first place that you did make sure that each side is equal so you count the same number of stitches then you put your stitch marker there okay so on both sides here we have six stitches here and six stitches here okay now you divide it into two like this and you put another stitch marker here to determine the middle parts like this then from the left you count five and from the right you also count five and you put your stitch markers there okay so you count five here before your stitch marker and five after your stitch marker okay so you have here then you do the same for the back parts like this okay so you can take off your middle stitch marker then you have something like this so on the side we have six six then in the middle we have um ten ten okay so this is this is your tie so you measure so this is put around your tie to find out if it's okay for you if it's too tight you add more stitches to it okay so from here you make a chain or if you want to use um the loop method you just uh, pull your yarn put it around your card okay remember that this card was measured from one of your tie just in front of your tie okay you measured only one of them so you pull your loop you put it around it okay then okay so you after pulling your loop you make your single crochet when you get to issue equal to where your stitch marker is so in between your two stitch markers you make single crochet all right so you make a loop again when you get to the end of your stitch marker you make a loop again until you get to the next stitch marker then you make your single crochet to fix it okay so like this you can also use the card to guide you okay so this is the card you can use it to just guide you in making your where to make your single 
crochet so this is it then in between the stitch markers you make your single crochet when you get to the end of your stitch marker you make a loop and you use your card to guide you or you can just forget about the card and just make your loop up to where your stitch then your next stitch marker is and you make a single crochet so you are going to make this round and round and round and round okay until you get to a desirable length which you can just uh, when you place it on your tie to just cover your high waist to your tie area okay up to where your crotch needs to be created the, there's another method that's the chain method where you can just uh ignore the card method or the loop method then you make your chain okay so we are only using chains for this side so you make your chain until you get to um where your stitch marker is then you make a single crochet so instead of the loop you instead of stressing yourself like that you can just make sing you can just make um chains and remember when you make the chains this the the spaces between them becomes wider than when you are using the loop method okay so in between you make your single crochet so with this method you just also go round and round and round and round until you get to that length that will um move from your high waist to your tie area that's um a place where you can start creating your crotch just to divide and yeah so let's make it run around making single crochet chain single crochet chain single crochet chains okay so let's do that and we'll see what we do next okay if you are using the card make sure that the card amounts to only one tie of it of your your tie the length should be of your tie so that you don't make any mistake okay so you can just um move on and do just go by the chain method and you are still good to go just that make sure that your 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 yarn is very thin so that you can um have that effect okay so you make the length from your high waist to this part okay before you divide okay so this it's before the crotch is coming so you are making single crochet with chains to get here so let's do that so at the end this is what we have this is our length now we are going to um divide our work so that we can successfully create the leg part of our shorts so to create that we need to um increase this part so you make single crochet single crochet till you get to the other side that's this side sorry you make single crochet single crochet single crochet okay yeah so you chain one and turn your work then you continue making single crochet through that when you get to the end you chain one and turn your work so we are kind of increasing the length from only this side and remember this uh, part is 10 um single crochets okay so the 10 single crochet that's where we are increasing not the side side but we are only increasing the middle parts okay so we keep on increasing this side this side so we are able to get it long enough to cover your crotch area okay so after doing that you seal it with a single crochet so make sure that you seal it in the inside so you can use your hook to seal it by making single crochet to join the other side or you can use um your thread and needle just to seal it from the inside so that we will not see any bump from the outside okay so after sealing it you just cut off your excess yarn. Yeah, you tie it and cut off your excess yarn yes so this is it so we've successfully divided our work into two now you indicate the middle part of your work okay so you leave like um four stitch holes or five to six stitch holes on both sides you use your stitch marker as indication 
make sure that the length from this side and this side is equal yeah so next of all you make single crochets over here and the single crochets you are going to make here you are just you insert your hook through this hole okay from the first hole to the second hole like this uh -huh. and you pull it and you make your single crochet you insert your hook from the next hole to the next one you pull your loop and you make a single crochet so you are making single crochet on the previous single crochets that we already have until we get to where the stitch marker is so you pull your yarn through like this so that so we did that just to um make this part stand out okay so you chain and your chain so you get to where your next stitch marker is okay so this place you make your regular regular single crochet then you chain until you get to where the crotch is then you also make a single crochet over there okay so what you are doing here right now is we are trying to increase one part of our leg um before we come to the other parts okay so since this place has already been raised you make your single crochet on it like this a normal single crochet okay then you make your chain so you're going to go round and round and round until this part increases enough so you can go on and go on and make it as long as you want okay so you can just go on and make it round and round and round until you get uh, a shorts or something the length of so it, it all depends on you so you make your single crochet you chain until you get to your next stitch marker okay and remember the chains over here are much longer okay because we only divided them into two so the chains are much longer okay so after finishing with your round and round and get your length this is what you have then you come to the this side so you make the same thing so you start from here and you increase it gradually with a chain and single crochet until you get like this one then when you are done you make single crochets at the edges of to in order to just fix your waist area or your high waist now let me show you how we i did the side side of my work so to create the loops at the side you insert your yarn by the help of your hook like this then you just get a smaller card not too big okay okay so you make your loop this time the chains are not going to work over here you have no choice you just have to use the loop method okay so you insert your hook pull your yarn through like this okay so all these things happens in the middle of the single crochets of the side okay so you just indicate the middle parts you just indicate the side of your shorts okay the middle parts of where your single crochets are that's where you make your loop okay so i'm making my loop in the middle part like this so i get to the end so you make it and at the end when you remove your your card you see that it will look something like this i hope you get this tutorial very well and i know you enjoy watching me if you are new to my ch channel make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on your notification and guys i'll see you in my next video tutorial Bye.